I am back from Amsterdam Excel Summit 2019 and it was great. And I gotta thank Jan Carl Peters and Tony DeYonker for setting this up. I'm feeling so blessed for having been able to participate for a third year. And it's always such great people, great knowledge to share in a great city. With Amsterdam Excel Summit 2019 wrapped up, what's next? Excel Summit South in Australia four cities we're gonna be a day ahead and upside down and you know what that means I cannot wear my kilt not if I'm gonna be upside down I'm gonna leave a link for Excel Summit South look forward to it it's gonna be a stone gas honey we have Minnie Tracy and uh, Liam Bostic will be teaching Tim Hang uh, Wynn Hopkins you got to get yourself there so what am I gonna whip on you today we're going back to dynamic arrays and filtering. The challenge is filtering for specific entries in a list. I've showed you filtering before. And with this data, it would be easy to filter for the advisor. Filter for Dottie Hendricks. Now we want to filter for specific items in a list. We've got all of these people who are in a program. We've got their advisor, their IDs. And then somebody says, I would like the information for Bruno Christian, Johnny Pask, and Titus Finch. So here, let me drag these other names into our of interest table. We've automatically got these new people. I'm gonna clear this out and show you how it's done. Here's our data and you see I've got a new column called check. That's the heart of this thing because we need something that is going to match the two criteria. We need something that if we want Bill Cunningham, we've got to check for both. Is Bill Cunningham in our table of interest as opposed to Elise Cunningham? This is how we're going to do it. Equals match. Open parentheses. Lookup value is Pam over here in B4. Comma lookup array we want to look in first name comma and we want zero for exact match okay we've got a one for Bruno because Bruno was found and Bruno was found in the first position now let's scroll down we've got two twos because we've got a Johnny Mason and a Johnny Pask we only want Johnny Pask. So here's our next step. Go back to the formula. We are going to multiply. All right. Times match. Open parentheses. Look up value. Ames. Comma. Look up array is in this last name column. Comma. Zero for exact match, close parentheses, enter. Now we've got a one for Bruno Christian because that's one times one. Titus Finch is a nine because he's three times three. Third position times third position. Let's scroll down. Johnny Pask is a four. Johnny Mason has errored out. I'm going to wrap this in if in a. If in a. Open parentheses. Go all the way to the end comma i want this to show a zero where there is that in a error zero close parentheses enter now do you see what i'm about to do the filtering is easy now go over here here's our filter equals filter what is our array we want the first four columns here we go wait for that black arrow slide all right comma include where the check column is greater than zero comma and if for some reason there is nobody then nope exclamation point double quote close parentheses uh, we got it like this slide 
slide the names in. There we go. Now I've got to show you one other thing that you have to watch out for when you're working with data. Let's do this. Wendy Carter. Okay. We have more people than we asked for. Why? Because there are two people named Wendy Carter, but they're two different people. All right, so you gotta watch out for that kind of stuff. We did it. We filtered against a list with two criteria. That's it for today, folks. And hopefully I'll see you in Australia when we're day ahead and upside down. <laughs>